we're at the end of our eight day rainy season retreat here in Bristol. This is just coming up to our final puja and uh, very grateful to Ratnavandana for being here leading it for us. It's been a fantastic week and uh, yeah, how have you found it Ratnavandana? Well, I said earlier in the shrine room that I was feeling full of gratitude myself. Uh, for having had such a precious opportunity and uh, it feels really, really uh, important that something like this has actually happened at a city centre and in particular uh, having a retreat with a Sangha. It's the first time I've done that and it really has had an impact. Um, it's just been very, very noticeable the difference, because on retreat, of course, when you're at a retreat centre, people have come from all sorts of different places. Obviously, if there are people with strong connections, perhaps. But here, it sort of felt like, well, that was the kind of basis of their coming together um, as a Sangha here in Bristol. And that's made a huge difference on the retreat. It definitely feels as mm. though uh, it's been a significant factor in the fact that the retreat sort of oh, hit the ground running in a way. It sort of felt as though right from the off, you know, right from that first evening when we had the ritual uh, dedicating of ourselves and our intentions for the retreat, that people were able to just dive straight in. Mm. And I think that that was very much part of it. Mm. And of course, because it's a shared experience, you know, everybody in the Sangha, well, all the people who've been here, obviously it's not the full Sangha, but they have that opportunity then, uh, you know, uh, yeah, as a shared experience to kind of continue building on it somehow. It just feels quite significant. So, and for me, having uh, come to a city to do a retreat, you know, it's a first, as I say, doing something like that. It's been a really, really enjoyable experience. I found a lot of the things that happen when you're on retreat in the country have happened exactly the same here, in a sense. It doesn't matter, really, where you are. And I've definitely been on retreat, despite, uh, you know, the sort of external conditions. Well, not despite, I mean, in a way, they've been very much part of it. Mm. So, yeah, a lot of gratitude for having had the opportunity to come and do it. Thank you. Do you want to just say a little bit about your inspiration in agreeing to come in the first place? Well, one of the things is that uh, the theme of the retreat, living in the mandala, is uh, well very much how I practice myself and therefore the opportunity to share it with others um, just felt well too good to miss. And also just knowing that for me it takes place so much of it off the cushion in my everyday life. It doesn't have to be something that you know just happens when I'm actually sitting on the cushion, sitting on my chair. Uh, I thought it would translate very well uh, for a retreat in a city centre uh, where people would might maybe go into work uh, during the day and coming back in the evening uh, as some people have and that they could really take that with them, take that practice with them and mm. apply it, whatever they were doing. Uh, so that was definitely part of it. Uh, it. It also felt like it was going to be quite a challenge, um, doing a retreat at a city centre, a mixed retreat, uh, with all the unknowns that uh, were there. So it, it would um, yeah, take me out of my comfort zone, but I had a strong feeling of wanting to be mm. taken out of my comfort zone. glad that you sort of persisted in uh, yeah, encouraging me to do it. <laughs> and having done it, uh, I, yeah, I'm absolutely yeah, assured that it was uh, a good thing to do, mm. a beneficial thing to do, mm. not just for us, but because you, know, you had the idea of putting it online. Uh, we just feel that that's, uh, it's an offering to the world. It's gone out into the world. And who knows where it's going to be picked up. What's the 
seeds are going to get sown in that is just wonderful, wonderful for the earth to see. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.